Welcome back to the Nerd Bait Guide. I am Corey. And I'm Amy Rose, and today we're going to be discussing M.T. Anderson's sci-fi staple feed, as well as talking about tropes. The term tropey is thrown around a lot these days negatively to mean cliche or overused, but brace yourself, tropes are not bad. Uh, a trope is a recognizable device or theme, and a lot of great story love comes from tropes being used in new and surprising artistic ways. You might have noticed that sci-fi stories are up and coming in the YA world. This is a recipe for getting non-sci-fi fans a taste of stars, planets, robots, and freakishly advanced science. It is also a recipe for some readers encountering similar elements in different stories and crying rip-off. Amy Rose and I know this all too well as we both independently wrote sci-fi stories with a similar element of space sickness. We weren't BWFs at the time, but when we swapped manuscripts, we might have both said... In the end, it wasn't really a problem, because we took very different spins on the same idea. M.T. Anderson's feed is the daddy of young adult science fiction. It is also one of the scariest and most plausible of a host of fictional futures. He takes the tropes of terrible society, a disaffected main character, and a bright-eyed and rebellious love interest, and spins them into something brave and different and frankly terrifying. If the sensitive, standoffish narrator starts at a new school, hoping to join an eccentric group of friends, and pines after the unpin-downable love interest while struggling with loss in the backstory, you might be in an emo trope book. If the sweet but slightly flawed main character's biggest problem is that she doesn't have a boyfriend, she's fighting with her best friend or close sister, and she's suffering from former daddy's girl syndrome, you just might be reading a princess trope book. If the quarterback or cheerleader, or aspiring quarterback or cheerleader, is dealing with just how hard it is to be the coolest kid in the days swiftly leading up to the big game and or homecoming, you might be reading a jock book. If the main character is getting out of juvie with a fresh tattoo, face his alcoholic parent, sleep on the couch, Love is made to dog while actually having sex with the love interest, although it's not that romantic, you might be reading a rebel book. If the narrator is the chosen one who must overcome the loss of his wizened wizard grandfather figure and go on a quest through the woods with bad attitude trees and big fracking spiders whilst discovering superpowers, capes, wands, orbs, and or swords, you might be reading a nerd trope book. Now go forth! And go crazy in space with robots through a wormhole. When the light gets into your heart, baby Don't you forget about me Don't, 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 don't Don't you forget about me 